I want to start with leadership. Um, how do you, you're obviously a, uh, a, uh, a, a, a daughter of a entrepreneur who really uh, took over from his father in, uh, in building the Cisneros Group. And, um, and when he sort of gave you that mantle or you raised your hand for it, uh, what was the vision and how do you think about preparing for the next generation of the uh, leadership of the family? So uh, there was no hand raised. Yep. Um, I, am, <laughs> I am the third. I am the youngest. I am the one that they were not paying attention to. Um, and this job was not meant to be for me. Uh, this job wasn't necessarily meant to be for anyone in our family. We, we don't, there's no mandate that says the leadership has to come from within the family. Um, so it all kind of, it happened quite, quite by chance, I would say. Um, I, I went to grad school, I studied journalism, I wanted to set up a news agency for Latin America. Um, I assumed I would join the, the family group at some point in my late 40s, um, and I ended up taking over when I was 27 instead. And, uh, you know, plans are great um, until they change, and then, and then they're not plans anymore. This is the Mike Tyson line. No, and I was, I was <laughs> saving that, for, that one for a little bit later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so, um, you know, I, I made, a, I made a, a grave mistake of um, writing a paper that was an analysis of where we thought, where I thought we were as a media company. Um, what we had done wrong and right in the previous 10 years and the changes that I thought needed to be made. And I handed over this paper uh, to my father and to our former CEO. And they said, wow, my god, this is amazing. But you need to execute, because we actually don't know what to do with this. Hmm. Um, so that was how my conversation began about taking over the family business. Uh, and it was a conversation that we, we managed very quietly, because I wasn't sure um, that I could do the job or that I wanted the job, frankly. Um, so they respected that. And we spoke uh, very quietly for about three years. And in those three years, I started um, going back to school and, and learning about certain things I didn't know, just to see that if the time would come where I felt that I was prepared to, to, to take over the job. And, and then it became obvious that they were seeing something in me that I hadn't really figured out that I had. Um, and then, and that was, that's it. That's the rest of my life.